the simplest way to describe it is that it's a commentary on an ancient Sioux teaching story called the story of Jumping Mountain. And that story teaches the value of going on a quest to discover who and what you truly are, a quest in the natural world. The Vision Quest is based on Native American rite of passage ceremony where um, a person, a young person in transition from childhood to adulthood undergoes a, a quest for vision. And that entails going to the medicine person and then talking to him or her a little bit and then being placed out on the hill as they describe it where you're instructed to cry for a vision to cry for a vision, your place in the scheme of things and what you have, what gifts you have in particular to give to your people for the well-being of the tribe. That's, that's the vision quest in its um, ancient traditional sense. The lesson that Jumping Mouse learns is that in order to come into his fullness, he needs to let go of his self-centered drives and attitudes and open his heart to the suffering of others. So there are a couple of places in the story where he does just that. In the story, symbolically, he sacrifices an eye to buffalo to help heal buffalo and an eye to help heal um, gray wolf. Um, and in each, and that, that sacrifice is symbolic of letting go of his egoic way of addressing the world and seeing the world and really um, opening up in a, in a compassionate way to the, the other, the other being standing before him. The power of the vision quest is that it places you out in the natural world alone for four days and night without food and in that context silence and solitude and fasting really help to strip you down to your bare essence and 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 ideally um, you become part of the landscape you become one with the natural world and when that happens nature becomes a soul and becomes a mirror of your own soul and it creates this opening to spirit. And through that opening, you're able to gain insight into your life, into direction, into meaning and purpose. Medicine power really is equivalent to spiritual power. And spiritual power, I believe, is equivalent to when you no longer are operating in the trance of separation, the separation between yourself and others and nature. So it's when you are able to bridge worlds able to bridge the, the spirit world with everyday life and then it becomes one rather than separated and divided. In the story, when that, when that takes place, when that bridging takes place, um, one gains in one's capacity for medicine power, which is the capacity to heal others or to help others that are, who are suffering. The structure follows the uh, threefold uh, structure that anthropologists have found among indigenous peoples throughout the world. And um, the three elements of that structure are severance, threshold or initiation, and the final stage is incorporation. And our programs uh, mirror that structure. The first phase of severance 
is separating from family and friends from um, the known world, your familiar world, and moving out into the unknown. Another degree of separation is separating from the orientation of our rational mind, the predominance of that attitude, and opening up to the deeper levels of knowing, the intuitive, instinctive ways that we come into contact with uh, each other and the natural world. So that's the first phase, and then the second phase, you go off on your vision quest, where you're alone and fasting and seeking to commune with nature and with spirit and with the deepest stirrings within yourself. And then the final stage, you come back off the quest, and there are rituals to help you integrate the experience of the vision quest into your daily life, because that's what you go out for, is to uh, bring whatever knowledge, clarity you gain back into your everyday life to, to aid your, your, your family, your communities, your work. Freedom really um, involves letting go of conditioning, these beliefs, these attitudes that um, by and large uh, narrow our world place constraints upon, upon our perception. Really, healing and vision quest is all about cultivating a new way of perceiving yourself and your relationship to the world. And that's exactly what happens uh, to Jumping Mouse through the symbolic loss of his eyesight. He's letting go of the traditional ways of, and conditioned ways of perceiving reality and opening up to the wider, higher, perspective that eagle offers beyond all horizons.